Hi everyone, this is Christine Thompson with Baird and Warner on the CT team. I'm the lead agent there. And uh, of course with Baird and Warner. And I'm coming to you live weekly and that this is my next show. So that way you can hear what's the latest and greatest with the real estate market in, and I use Naperville as the basis. So I'm gonna go ahead and just screen share what uh, is happening here, so bear with me. And I'm gonna share that with you so you can see everything that is going on. So I'm gonna start with this and I apologize. I'm not, I usually have just the whole screen showing. Let's see if I can do that. Not sure what happened there. Okay, there we go, all right. So thank you for joining me. So here we go. Um, this is the market activity from a week ago. And if you're, this is your first time ever watching my show, I just wanna let you know what I do is compare last week to this week on what's happening in the real estate market in Naperville. And uh, that way you can get a little comparison of an, an understanding of direction. Where's, where's the market going? Now, if you live in a different area and you would like this type of information for the market that you're in, whether you're thinking of selling or looking to buy, I'd be happy to get that together for you and just reach out to me to get that, okay? So here we go. Um, so a week ago, I reported that there were 47 new properties on the market and 49 went under, mar under contract. Now of the 47, that does not mean they're all unique because agents sometimes cancel listings and right away make it a new listing again to just try and give it a fresh look. So we are definitely seeing that there is less inventory coming into the market than the demand of homes that are coming off the market. This week, same thing. We're seeing 67 days for new homes, new, I like to say, that doesn't mean they're all unique, and 71 went under contract. So the demand is still there. It's getting pretty even though. Um, and then average list price. This is really more to give you an idea of detached homes and what are average numbers even in Naperville? So we can see a week ago, uh, average list price was 631 and going under contract was 611 or 612. Uh, pretty close in numbers here. And this week we saw the inventory was 527 average for list price for homes. Now inventory can change. Maybe there's owners in bigger homes, uh, pricier homes that are deciding to not stay on the market maybe come off the market. This other can indicate canceled or expired listings. And then we can see under contract is at 560. So a little lower than the week prior, but still, you know, you're getting an idea of where does it kind of hover for Naperville homes for detached homes. The average number of days a week ago, I reported was 79 days. And that was more for the homes priced in the 600 plus range, as well as 107 days for those homes to go under market. Now this week, we can see it's a lot less, but remember this week we showed a lower price av list price average for the homes that are active. So that's probably why the number is lower. There are probably more, more of them are falling off and just coming on. And then this number is lower too, 80 days on the market, again, for the low, lower average list price home. And then this is just another summary of those bar graphs you just saw, if you'd like to see real numbers, so the average list price for the sold homes was 526 about, and uh, the average sale price was 511, 509. That was a week ago. Now this week, the average list price is 469, and the average sale price was 457. So we can see um, about the same amount of drop as I've been reporting for the last several weeks between list price and sale price. So there you go, that's remaining strong. Now this is about the average listings per showing. We saw that we were, uh, you know, beginning of October, that's a good month out now. We were hovering a little over one per listing and then it shot up a little bit to 1.4 then dipped back down. Interestingly enough, that second to last weekend of October was, it really shot up to 1.3. And then of course, Halloween weekend, uh, we're at 1.13. Let's see how this week, this next weekend comes up, but you gotta watch the show next week to find out. It'll be, I'll be interested to see if it's gonna go down more or not. We're coming into that time of year where people are really concerned about, is it gonna really slow down? This is gonna be one reflection to see if it's slowing down. Is, are less buyers coming in? Sellers wanna know that. Should we still put our house on the market in November or December? You know, how many buyers are out there looking at homes? 
this average is a nice reflection to know what kind of activity is happening out there. When we start dipping under one, then we know it's, you know, it's not a super solid seller market out there. There's not enough buyers out there. Last week, I reported the action index was uh, ranked at 37. That's a slight seller's advantage. And that was the first weekend or first week that I reported the number 37. For quite a few months, I was reporting at 38. And now it's at 37. And this week, it's still at 37. So still the same thing. Uh, so it's taken a slight softening more to the seller's market. Of course, we are in November now. And then let's keep an eye on the fixed rate, on the interest rates, because even for you sellers out there, it does affect you because if the interest rates keep climbing up or climb up and get higher, uh, buyers might be a little less driven to get out there and lock in a contract. Now, a week ago, I reported the FHA, or I'm sorry, conventional fixed loan was at 3.04 and the FHA 3.24. And now conventional, about the same, it's 3.03 .03 instead of 3.04. FHA went down from 3.24 to 3.19. So that's remaining strong. And honestly, you guys, this little difference, it's, it, you don't even notice it on your payments, it's so slight. And uh, being right around 3%, it's just phenomenal. It's really, really good. Uh, so it is definitely a time to still be going out there and shopping for homes, speaking to you buyers. Now I'd like to look at some things just nationally, what's happening nationally. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, first of all, these sources are coming from Showing Time, uh, used across the country. I know because my mom's in Arizona, she's still practicing real estate. They also use Showing Time. So I know Showing Time is being used all around the United States to uh, record and register showings for homes for realtors. So they are claiming that uh, year over year, it's up 62% number of showings. And the number of homes for sale is down 38% from a year ago. So that is definitely a seller's market and pent up demand for homes. So high demand means you sellers are poised to win big. Uh, higher sale prices up uh, the median sale existing home for existing homes, median sale price is up 15% nationally and the that's an average increase of 40,300. Now, again, this is nationally, okay? Uh, these are not numbers for your specific market. You have to come to me to ask for these kind of numbers for your specific market so you know uh, what it's really like for exactly where you're living or purchasing. Um, but I still love looking at this. It's, it's very hopeful for the country to see how well it's been performing in 2020, despite all the crazy stuff that's going on out there this year and all the concerns people have. So this is why it's a good reason to watch this show so you can see actual real hard data instead of just hearing a lot of, um, and I don't care what side it is, all the political talk, either side, whatever they're saying, this is non-political here. This is just raw data. Okay, and this is where you should really be going to get your source. So in September, the average house was on the market for 21 days only. That's really short, seller's market. These are great numbers to be paying attention to. And uh, let's keep the, you know, the hope alive. Uh, don't let all the media out there uh, dissuade you from doing what is right. It's a good time to be getting out there purchasing. You got great rates, sellers. Um, if the buyer's uh, demand shrinks in November and December, just remember, the inventory is shrieking too. It's all kind of like a sliding scale. It's all the same. So all of you out there, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. This is my contact information since I don't have it on a, I don't have a green screen today. So I'm going to just leave it here instead of going back to me, big picture. So you can see all my contact information here. You can call or text me. You can go to my website. I have another URL called christinethompson.bairdwarner.com. That's a great way to get in touch with me also. If you go to that website, either way, you'll find me and, uh, or email me even. I do emails, yes I do. And I also text obviously, or just direct messenger me on Facebook or LinkedIn or wherever you're, you know, find me, I'm there for you. And I'm happy to just give you advice. Don't feel like you're obligated to have to work with me. I just like to be very, very helpful in my broker community to the community that I work. 
and service. So happy to hear from you. Don't be shy. Call or text me and I'll give you plenty of time to understand what's happening out there and answer all of your questions. I appreciate you all watching. Thank you so much. Here I am again. And I hope that you're all having a great day, enjoying this late fall time. The foliage is beautiful out there. And I look forward to hearing from you, whether it's a text, call, email, direct message, however you're most comfortable with it. Thanks so much for watching and you have a fabulous day.